I want uh, America, an America that is competitive in a global economy for my children. That's, that's it. We won't have that if we don't have immigration reform. If we don't fix the system by which we welcome people to this country and allow them to continue to build it, we're done. I'm uh, Michael McGarry. I'm the co-founder and chief political strategist for Engine. Uh, we are a 501c3 and 501c4 nonprofit uh, based in San Francisco with the goal of bringing together uh, the high growth entrepreneurial community in the United States, basically startup businesses and bringing them closer to government. The leader of the Republican Party in the House and ostensibly the standard bearer in the country at this point, the Speaker of the House, just took three of the most important groups that fund those candidates out for a walk. And he did it very publicly and he did it very loudly. This is where the opportunity lies. But we've got a strike right now. This is, this is a very important moment. I think it's the entrepreneurial spirit that can absolutely guide this. We've done a lot of research here at Engine on what the entrepreneurial community looks like and the sort of effects that it has in communities around the country. And there's one great stat that I always like to pull out here, which is that for every job that's created in a tech firm, 4.3 non-tradable sector jobs are created in the community that surrounds it. So that's restaurants, and that's corner stores, and that's lawyers, and that's bankers, and um, and that's plumbers and everybody else. The things that, that happen when a community um, gets stronger through the creation of, of growth, uh, of wealth, and, and opportunity. And if you then look at that against the fact that so many of the leading companies, uh, corporations built here in the United States are founded by immigrants themselves, we are going to lose our competitive advantage in a daily going forward if we don't solve this now. And there is a slippery sliding slope um, that, that we can project out past 2020 at this point which if we don't fix immigration. It is just as easy, if not easier at this point, to start a tech business in Toronto or London or uh, Santiago, Chile, as it is to start it in the United States. That's and in right. some cases there are benefits to that. If we lose the advantage that we've had for the last 250 years of welcoming immigrants from all over the world and saying the best place that you're going to find opportunity is the United States, if we lose that, then we'll lose everything. We can strengthen our communities and it's only going to be in welcoming people to this country who want to build, who want to grow, and want to strengthen those communities around. We're all here, we're all working for it, and we have an opportunity to get it over the line. 2014 presents an enormous opportunity to, to come to a real turning point in the American story, and we've got to take it for everything that we can and make this happen. And it is going to be about telling a human story, an economic story, and making a political argument in a way that, um, that helps get it there, but I, I fully believe that if we do this one year from today, we're going to be talking about how to implement the bill that has been passed and signed into law by the President of the United States. I think, I think we can get there, but it's going to take sustained effort from a whole lot of corners to do it.